started back in May from the first footage of the leak site, putting together the different options for repairing, and we came up with a long list of options internally to AECL. But what we decided we needed to do was engage in external experts. And we had a workshop looking at repair options. So Liberty came with one that they had tested in a bench test. Uh, so they came with a solution. And so after that, we engaged Liberty to come back to site, give us a presentation. We came down and looked at Liberty's uh, shop that you're and uh, from that we developed a relationship going through concept stages to development of uh, designs and fabricated tools. ACL has a lot of internal expertise, uh, but in this particular application, uh, we are looking for a turnkey solution. We're looking for uh, the experts, in particular in welding. Liberty Automation is uh, a Canadian-based technology company that provides welding solutions to the industry throughout the world. We combine expertise in both remote welding and nuclear applications as well as aluminum welding, which is an unlikely combination. And it so happens that this particular repair requires all three of those skills. In former times, we've done reactors similar to this in as far away as Japan. We've done aluminum alloy weldings on aerospace vehicles and launch vehicles. And what we're doing is bringing together both the aerospace and the nuclear remote repair technology into one project. This is something that we are, uh, that we are used to. Um, we have completed a number of high profile projects in the past where a successful completion, it's, it's not an option, it's a must. Liberty did understand the urgency when we first came to them. They're pretty quick on board and they, they caught on very quickly to what we were looking for. Typically in my estimate, this type of project, as far as our work scope goes, would be completed in uh, uh, let's say in a 12-month period, we are trying to compress everything into a three to four-month schedule. You can imagine that the levels of radiation are very high and essentially tooling has to be robust enough in the design to withstand the application. And in this case, the application is pretty extreme, high temperatures, high humidity. We are basically building a full-scale mock-up of the reactor. When we do equipment testing as well as uh, uh, operator uh, qualification and process qualification will be able to duplicate the conditions in the actual reactor. The training's been uh, tremendous to get a first-hand feel for what we're going to be doing and essentially you know we're putting together the tools, we're erecting them, installing them and we're making passes with the welder and the grinding tools uh, to simulate what will be done at Chalk River. Under this much pressure you, you have to operate as a team. Communication is key. With ACL and Liberty, it's uh, constant, it's, it's every day. I personally feel like we are part of the ACL team and we're basically an extension of that organization. We have a very tight relationship. Uh, in fact, there's several ACL employees who have pretty much lived here for the past uh, month and a half. And we're basically working shoulder to shoulder, side by side, to make sure the repair is successful. We want to make sure that, that this repair is going to work first time around. So we're doing our due diligence up front to make sure that these tools work. It's invigorating. It's a technical issue that people want to get on board and they want to see a resolve. People like to be part of success and so it's very easy to get people motivated to, to help out.